This is a video explaining why evaporation causes cooling. Now here you'll have the fairly familiar uh, diagrams of solids, liquids and gases. Solid is held together by strong bonds, it's touching and it's vibrating, so it's in a fixed ordered shape. Liquid has weaker bonds and it can flow all over the place. Particles are still touching but they're moving around freely. Gas particles are whizzing all over the place, okay, bouncing off each other, bouncing off things, creating gas pressure. Now what you'll see increasing here as we go from a solid to a liquid is the temperature. So this could be ice, this could be water, and this could be steam. So the temperature in degrees C increases. What we're also increasing as we go from left to right here is the average kinetic energy of the particles. These particles are moving a little, these particles are moving a lot. We have increased the average kinetic energy. Now this can help us explain how something can evaporate and when it does, it will cool things down. Here I have a little dish of water with these little dice here representing water particles or water molecules. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some heat using my Bunsen burner, although I could equally just leave it in the sun and it would still evaporate. And that's gonna increase the kinetic energy of the particles. Okay, so we've got our water dish here. We shake it around. adding more energy to the particles. Now you can see that many of these particles have just up and left. They've got lots and lots of kinetic energy. Now, how can we explain why this creates cooling? Okay, number one, as you add heat, which is energy, I add my heat energy source here, okay, my Bunsen burner, this will increase the kinetic energy of the water molecules in this case. Water is a molecule, so we talk about molecules, but you can talk about atoms or particles equally uh, in exam questions. So, the highest kinetic energy particles leave. This is evaporation. When they leave, they take some energy with them. So what this means is that the average kinetic energy in my little dish of water here, once these particles are left taking some energy with them, the average kinetic energy uh, decreases in the dish. Okay, and as we know, this is simply what temperature is. This, as the, these higher energy particles, these high energy kinetic particles take away energy, they decrease the kinetic energy, therefore the temperature measured in degrees C, will decrease. This is quite common uh, experience if you've ever used hand sanitizer because alcohol's got a very low uh, evaporation point or boiling point. When you rub your hands with hand sanitizer, they feel cold afterwards. And it's because the highest energy particles of the ethanol, the alcohol, leave. The kinetic, average kinetic energy in your hands is less. Therefore, they get cooler.